All right, we're looking at the dual piece circuit and the effects that uh, reducing the base resistance has uh, on the brightness of the LED and how the system operates. So the idea behind this was to devise a way of um, slowly reducing the resistance from the fixed 1K um, as in the standard dual piece, uh, reducing that base resistance as the battery voltage drops um, in the hopes of maintaining um, a similar light output to that of when the uh, battery first starts off running the circuit. So I'll run through this a little bit. Like I said, it's a standard dual piece circuit. Um, we've simply taken the 1K fixed resistor out and put a 1K pot in. I have a couple of alligator clips across that pot at the moment hooked up to my meter. Uh, 1.072K and if we turn it anti-clockwise we can see that that resistance drops down. So it's anti-clockwise to drop the resistance down. Just so as you know. And uh, what we're going to do is see what happens as we drop that resistance down to the light output from our LED. Okay, so like I said, standard uh, 1.5 volt battery that is uh, very dead, uh, four or 500 millivolts left in it. This multimeter here will be showing us the voltage across that um, battery. I've simply soldered one wire onto the positive and soldered a bit of um, broken neodymium magnet to the negative wire, which will stick to our battery. Our scope, the blue channel, is hooked across the LED, which will show us the um, maximum voltage across the LED per pulse. Um, and the red channel is hooked across the emitter base junction. We also have our light meter here, um, which we're going to uh, place our sensor. I'm just going to sit it on top of the LED. Um, that will also um, show us what happens to the uh, light output of our LED as we decrease the base resistance. Okay, so <clears throat> we can get rid of our multimeter that was showing us our resistance value. Once again, anti-clockwise reduces the resistance across that pot, uh, which in turn will send more current to the base, um, which will show on the scope as a higher voltage. Uh, while we do that, we can watch the voltage across the LED. We will also be able to watch the pulse width um, for the on time of the transistor. So um, that was the theory about having a um, base resistance that automatically reduces as the battery voltage drops um, in order to maintain light output. Apparently that's crap. Um, and having the variable resistance will do nothing at all except burn unnecessary power. So uh, we're about to put that to the test. Okay, so we'll fire up the system on the full 1K to start with. Uh, reasonably bright LED, that is a 10mm LED. Um, you can see our battery voltage is dropping very fast because the battery is not very healthy. Hopefully it will slow down a little. But anyway, um, our maximum voltage across our LED at the moment is 3.4. That will drop as the battery voltage is dropping. And uh, we have 10.4 volts max across the emitter base. That is during the off time. As you can tell, our little point here is the off time, that is the on time. Um, we were probably looking at about 700 millivolts. Uh, let's see if we can actually pick that up. No.
Okay, anyway, <clears throat> um, what we want to do is watch the uh, voltage across that LED. I do have it polarity correct. So, um, everything being equal, when we turn our base resistance down, we should see, and some of us believe we will see an increase in uh, light output. There are others that believe it will make no difference at all, um, just burn unnecessary power. Uh, we've settled down about 4.462 volts, which is not too bad, um, running at a low voltage like that. So now we're going to decrease the base resistance and let's have a look at our maximum voltage value across the LED. Um, and also watch the pulse width the on time and the width of the off time. You'll see the off time will stay relatively the same, the on time will increase and the voltage across our LED will increase. Increase, sorry. So turning it down now, reducing the base resistance and you can see our maximum voltage across the LED is indeed climbing. Our pulse width is also increasing. So you can see we are increase, increasing during the on time but the off time uh, during the LED on time is pretty much all staying the same. So very clearly reducing the base voltage um, is increasing our voltage across our LED. But is it increasing the light output? <coughs> Well, due to the fact that um, the LED on time, which is the transistor off time, stays relatively the same, um, we can safely say we're getting more light output when our maximum voltage across the LED rises. But we'll put our light meter on top here, turn it on, I'll try and get it right next to the switch. I'm simply just going to set it on top like that. Okay, so um, 4.56 volts, uh, 3.36 volts max across the LED at the moment, that is the uh, full 1K. So I'm going to decrease the base resistance now, and as you can see the light output is indeed increasing. So it says our voltage across the LED. Back to the 1K position. Now you'll see it climb up because our battery is recovering a bit. But of course we would go down very steadily instead of loading it hard like that. Um, maybe every time this battery drops down 0.001 of a volt or 1 millivolt we would decrease our base resistance by 1 ohm. So once again you can clearly see decreasing the base resistance increases the light output. Decreasing the base resistance increases the pulse width or the on time and you can also see that it increases our base voltage which would mean an increase in current to the base which means an increase of current flow through L2 um, and all that seems to be happening at exactly the same time as we get an increase in light output. So um, I think that puts that to bed. Um, like I said there are some out there that are saying that that was going to make no difference at all and came out with all this fancy uh, bookwork that's supposed to back up their claim but our bench test is showing us something very different very different. If 
you can't see a light output increase there and perhaps you need an eye check so um, one very good example guys our uh, actual bench work um, decent measuring tools will always give you the correct answer and the books are not always right do not represent reality um, sometimes so um, there's no better way of finding out the truth than to carry out the test on your bench and watch the results for yourself and those results are extremely clear you can see as I said our LED on time or the off time of the transistor remains very much the same the on time increases which means an increase in pulse width just all seems to happen exactly the same time as the light output increases and the very same time we reduce the base resistance okay so I hope that's cleared that up and uh, sorted out the bullshit from the truth and now we can all get on um, continual development and see what we can do with these uh, simple little dual piece circuits thanks for watching guys